Hello everyone, welcome again to another room tour. Today I'm in an Elite King suite, which as you can see is near the end of the corridor. I'm not sure that they all are, but uh, I'm sure I've stayed in one before that might have been further up, but I might be mistaken. Anyway, I have stayed in this room type before, um, but I'm going to do a tour because I didn't take a video last time. It was quite a few years ago, so let's take a look around. As we start off on the right hand side, we've got this... We've got our Keurig and our usual Mandalay Bay uh, mini bar and the refrigerator with no personal space. I tend to use this bit up here. And uh, I've never actually been accidentally charged when I put things on top of the cans. Then we have this little, this little nook here for our wine glasses and ice. I'm a little bit out of breath, sorry. I've just been lugging suitcases and as such. Got these two completely pointless empty cupboards. As you come into the room, you can see it's a kind of like a studio apartment. So we've got our nice living area here, very large couch. I mean, you can easily sit five or six people in this area very comfortably. And our lamps, there's a curtain there. And then as we come in on the left hand side, this is a door into the bathroom. And there are actually two doors into the bathroom. So we'll look in there in a moment. One of the things I wasn't too sure about this room is it's only got one television and it's off to the side here. So you can see if you're in bed, you're kind of craning your neck and the same, but the TV is on a big bracket. So it does come, come out quite far. So you can see the TV's tilted now more towards the bed. But it's not so bad. We've got this lovely work desk in front of the window very nice but the only uh, downside I'm on the seventh floor and I don't even know what I'm looking at out here look at that some kind of metal work there's the Mandalay Bay uh, sign um, but you know obviously they have these on every floor uh, it's New Year's Eve so the day before New Year's Eve I should say but it's New Year's Eve time so it's a pretty full hotel I upgraded because the room I had had a connecting door, I didn't want that. And then she's like, oh, do you want to upgrade for 60 bucks a night? I thought, well, you know what, why not? So here we have our beautiful Mandalay Bay bed with the uh, usual side tables. Now the bathroom is really nice. <clears throat> Let's have a look here. So first we have this huge, I've obviously run a bath because I'm basically got off a plane about an hour ago and I'm going to have a hot bath and go to bed. Huge bath. You can see you've got the doors each side. This is easily big enough for two people. It's like a Scarface size bath. Huge mirror here. The closet is in the bathroom, but it is quite big. So it goes back quite a way here. You can't really see because I'm going to put the... There's no light on here. Let's see. Well, there is a light, but it's not coming on. I don't know if it's supposed to be automatic or whether there's a switch. There's a switch. There we go. Look at that. So you can see it goes quite far back here. So there's a lot of space. Anyway, safe, iron and ironing board, etc. Then the shower here is sort of framed in the middle. I don't think there's anything particularly uh, special about the shower. It's just a standard shower. It looks like the standard kind of Mandalay Bay size with this little point here. We've got our WC just in here. Standard, and then we've got this huge mirror. I've just had to uh, deal with a shower gel escaping emergency and cleaned all this out. So we've got a nice shower, dual vanities. It's quite a nice bathroom. It's bigger than the standard Mandalay Bay um, in terms of the layout and in terms of the bath. And I think that pretty much completes the tour. So this is the Elite King Suite at Mandalay Bay. Um, do I recommend it? If it's the right price, yes. When it's, you know, a couple of hundred bucks more than a standard room, I don't think so. The bathroom is nice, but only because of the tub. Everything else is, you know, more or less the same. And the layout isn't brilliant just because of the way the TV is. But if you're having a few people, you know, one of you books this suite and then everyone else has a standard room, here's your little social space. Thanks for joining me. Catch you on the next one.